Good morning. I am going to show you how I do a beach tumbler with real sand. There's a lot out there, but this is just how I make mine. So I've taken my tumbler. You can see it bled some, but it ran. I just wiped it down and it'll be fine. I did it with metallic cheers color shot and then island girl color shot. Those are the colors that I used. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix up five grams of tumbler or talk the epoxy. I'm gonna start with B first. All right, that's 293 of A. I'm tear. We'll mix this together. I do it really fast. I'm not worried about bubbles. I've taken my beach sand and I've mixed some snow capped by KCC Glitter. And I also mixed in a little bit of the Caribbean that I got at Michael's. This is going to be our second color. And then Turks is going to be our third color on this cup. So I'm going to move those out of the way. I'll stir this. time. Make sure you scrape the sides and the bottom. Baby wipe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some of this at the top. I'm going to want to all the way around. I'm going to work it over the edge. Then I'm going to bring it all the way to the bottom. You can tell where the epoxy is not on it because your hand, kind, your finger gets caught up. But once it's all the way down, it slides nice and smooth. The glitter will cover this. There we go. set that there for a minute. Clean my glove. My stick. Move that out of the way. So I'm going to start with the darkest color first. Turk. Spread it all the way around, about two thirds of the way. I'm 
Isn't that pretty? Then the next color I am going to do Caribbean from Michaels. And then the sand. There we go. There it is. I'm going to set her, let her cure for about eight hours. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to put epoxy on it. And I will see you then. Hello all. We're back. I'm going to put a flood coat on this cup. Then I'm going to come back after it cures. About six hours. Enough for me to put another coat on. I'll put on another coat on. And then I'll come back. I'm just showing you how I'm doing a flood coat. I mixed up 20 grams for this 16 ounce cup. The sand along with the glitter is going to suck up this epoxy. Okay, now I'm going to go up. There we go. Try to pop any bubbles. Alright, so I'm going to let this cure, then I'm going to put another coat on and let that cure a few hours, and then I'll be back. Okay, we're back. I mixed up 16 grams of tumbler epoxy, 8 of A and 8 of B. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some in this little cup. for my waves and I'm going to add some Let's Resin Ocean White. Stir that up real good. Then I'm going to set it up here. Let it sit there for a little bit. Well, what I'm going to be doing is putting alcohol inks on here. I'm going to be putting Mermaid from Rangers down in this area. And then Pinata, Pinata, excuse me, Baja Blue up in here. after I put on a coat of epoxy so it can move.
I'm putting a pretty generous coat because I want those alcohol inks to move. Now I'm going around just swiping it up, making sure it's all covered. There we go. Then what I like to do is take the torch and warm that epoxy up, get it moving. Let it go around a couple times. I really want it moving. There we go. Now I'm gonna take the baja and I'm just gonna draw drops. There's no right or wrong. As much as you want or as little as you want. I come down into the Caribbean. Okay. Now I've got the mermaid. And I bring that down into the sand too. like some sand showing, but not a whole bunch. The waves is what I like to see. So I'm going to let that turn for a little bit. Go ahead and put these up. Saw a little fish eye. take the white and I'm just going to drizzle it. More heavy down by the sand. Now I'm going to spritz it with a little bit of alcohol ink. See, the cells are starting to work. It's 
So I'm going to let that turn and cure. And then I'll be back to put the vinyl on and then the final coat of epoxy. All right, we're back. I put another coat of epoxy over. Once you do the alcohol inks and the white, it'll be bumpy. So you need to do another coat so the epoxy can level out and make it nice and smooth. So this is how it came out. And right about here is where I'm going to put on my saying that I printed off Cricket. Wild and free just like the sea. There we go. I'm going to pull back the transfer sheet. I see there's a little There we go. There we go. Alright. I'm going to get this ready and put another coat of epoxy on and she'll be ready to go. See you in a minute. 